Well, I just saw the Flash trailer. Now let's get into Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mr. Eli Mac channel. I'm your host Mr. Eli Mac and today I am going to be reacting to the newest trailer for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Again, as I said earlier, the Flash trailer just dropped for the Super Bowl and the Super Bowl also dropped a Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 trailer. I think Marvel and DC wanted two of their big movies to have a trailer come out. And it's no shock why because these are two of their big movies that are coming out this year flash resetting the dc universe and guardians of the galaxy volume 3 ending the trilogy and ending what we know as the guardians of the galaxy right now and so the newest trailer is dropped and i'm very excited for guardians of the galaxy volume 3 i'm excited to see if we're going to be getting an ending to rocket an ending to Drax, like there's so many things that are going to be happening and we're going to be getting a lot of Rocket backstory in this movie with the High Evolutionary. So yeah, this this movie is going to have a lot and I'm very much looking forward to seeing how James Gunn tells the story and ends the story of Guardians of the Galaxy. But before I actually get into the action, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. That way you can be up to date with all the videos I have here on the channel. Also, hit the notification bell. That way you can be notified whenever a new trailer or a new video like this comes your way. But with all that being said, let's get into the reaction right now. Oh, we're starting with music. Something. I'm Star-Lord. I mean, you are still Star-Lord. I formed the Guardians. Met a girl. Fell in love. And that girl died. But then she came back. <laughs> came back a total dick. Oh, please. He left out some important information, but... He, he did. That is the gist of it. <laughs> <laughs> Again, music's still so good for these movies. My sacred mission is to create the perfect society. Is it though? He didn't want to make things perfect. He just hated things the way they are. See, I'm loving all this rocket stuff. Wait. What is this song? Because I'm really liking it. I am grateful to fight beside my friends. I don't I don't think Drax Adam Warlock you gotta love to see Adam I don't think Drax is making it out oh the love interest to Rocket we were always searching for a family until we found each other yep are you ready I need to know so Adam's right. backstory at least what he's gonna be doing in this movie Fly away together into the forever and beautiful sky. I don't want Rocket to die. Whoever it was that you were in love with, it sounds more like her. Her? That's for sure. That. <laughs> Wait, they are they? What? <laughs> never noticed how black your eyes were. They were replaced by my father as a method of torture. He he picked a pretty set. <laughs> well, I can say with all honesty, this movie is going to be a, quite the adventure. There's a lot in it. I didn't do a lot of like, oh, ah, because the entire time I was just so transfixed, transfixed with the music choice that they chose for it. Look. James Gunn somehow knows what songs to pick for these trailers because that was a really good song. The entire time I was just thinking, what is this song and where can I find it? Because I want to listen to this song now because it sounds really good. At the same time, I was thinking it was Kelly Clarkson's Since You've Been Gone the entire time when I was hearing it. But also, like, I, I don't want Rocket to die. I don't want Rocket to die. He probably will, but I don't want it. I don't know if they're thinking to themselves, well, we're running out of money to give Bradley Cooper. So we really want to say goodbye to Bradley Cooper. 
or like I don't know I don't know I don't want Rocket to die that's just my main thing because I just know that the moment Rocket dies in this movie I'm gonna start crying because he's the heart of the team he is the one that sort of goes through all this stuff to I don't know make he he's the one that has the biggest arc throughout this trilogy he is the one that feels truly like the main character of this trilogy and not star lord i know star lord is technically you could say the main character of the guardians of the galaxy movies but it's felt very much like rocket is the one that's truly had the journey that's truly had the character development throughout this entire series in the mcu not just guardians but also in the avengers films he's had the biggest journey and that's just how I feel that I don't want to see him go. That's that's just a personal thing. I don't want to see Rocket go. And it's going to be sad if he does. And also seeing Adam Warlock, it's so cool to see Adam Warlock adapted in this way. And I'm when I said I want to know what ha like his backstory, it's just I want to know what his movie backstory is. I want to know why he's going up against the Guardians. And I want to learn more about the High Evolutionary. I want to learn more about Rocket. This movie has just made me go, I want to learn more about this movie. And I cannot wait for this movie to come out. But with all that being said, what were your thoughts on the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 trailer? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Were you indifferent to it? Whatever your thoughts, post them in the comments down below. And are you excited for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3? Again, whatever your thoughts, post them in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. That way you can be up to date to all the videos I have here. Also, hit the notification bell. That way you can be notified whenever a new reaction comes your way. But with all that being said, I have been Mr. Eli Mac. You've been the audience, and I hope you all have a great rest of the day.